Hi, this is Whitney with Policy Pack Software. With more and more people working remotely every day, do you ever wonder what you're going to do when one of those remote users tries to run a program that they need admin credentials for? Your users just need to be able to run business applications and they're getting a UAC prompt. What if someone wants to install an IT approved line of business application, but you didn't create an elevate rule for it? What if you just want to approve installations and application elevation on demand with or without a domain or even internet? You're in luck. PolicyPack's admin approval feature, part of the least privilege management component, allows you to do exactly that. You'll start by creating a policy that holds a secret that's shared by your management station and your endpoints. If we look over here on my management station, we can see that I have already put this policy in place and I have directed my users to call the help desk by creating a custom message right here. So now let's connect the wires by link enabling this GPO and we'll go over to the endpoint and we'll run a GP update just to accelerate the hands of time. Once this policy takes effect, instead of seeing UAC prompts, your users are going to see policy pack prompts instead, like this. Now, notice this ends with 49XN. If I close this without entering in a code and I reopen it, 49XN, we have the same code as before, which means that your users have no time limit and could even email you for a code. So once your user gives you the code, you'll go to your management station and you'll open up the admin approval tool. It's located in your start menu under policy pack. Now we'll enter in a password that was created when the policy was created in the first place and then enter in the request code. You now have the option to determine how many times you want this code to work once, five times, 10 times or unlimited and when you want the code to expire. Never 10 minutes, an hour or 12 hours. The response code here will change ever so slightly to reflect these choices that you've made and then you can give your user the resulting code. Once your user has that code, they can place it in the response code field here, tell it OK. Once your user has that code, they'll be able to open that application, install that MSI, or access that device driver, even though there wasn't an express elevate rule in place for this. If this is interesting to you, sign up for our daily webinar, and then we'll hand over the software and get you started on your 30-day free trial. Thanks so much.